Hi everybody, I thought I would uh, give a short layout update number seven. It's been a pretty busy, busy weekend painting the laundry room, but I have been able to get in here, train room, uh, do a little bit of work. So I put in this team track. Probably would have been more prototypical to put a house here. Um, I've tried to stay pretty close to the prototype as much as I can, but uh, I thought this would be a good place for a team track, so I went ahead and, and did it. I'm not sure where the team track actually was in Chillicothe. So originally I was going to use the dock that I had uh, sitting by the chemical plant, decided not to use. It was actually a little bit shorter um, than this one, and kind of small, so I decided to use this one out of a Walter's kit. And it works pretty good, but it's plastic, uh, so I had to do a lot of work to it to, to get it to look right. The first thing I did after I built it was I flipped it over and I painted the whole thing with flat black on the bottom, both the dock and the... Um, ramp. After that, I wanted it to look like these posts were creosote, and so I actually took some gloss black, testers paint, and sort of dry brushed a little bit. Uh, I'm old enough to remember when the electric poles had the creosote running down them in the summertime. As a kid, if you touched the electric pole, you know, you'd have this creosote bubbling up on it in the hot summer sun. And sometimes you'd see it on the roads, too, that used this, like, patching thing that you'd see on the road so uh, I remember getting burnt from that <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and use it uh, and you can't really see it but I know it's there uh, as far as the deck I used this uh, Tamiya uh, dark gray uh, paint dry brushed it and then I dry brushed it again with this uh, dull gray uh, from Model Masters and I wanted to sort of make a little story here so I decided this was going to be sort of run down hadn't been used in a while so they spotted the boxcar there, and they came to unload it with the fork truck, and the fork truck actually found a soft spot in the wood and uh, dropped down one wheel down in it. So the carpenter crew came out, and they actually was able to get the fork truck out, uh, and they replaced a lot of the wood, but they didn't. Uh, they found a bunch more wood uh, that was bad, so they replaced a lot of it. Said they were going to be back tomorrow to fix the rest where the hole was, but that's been two weeks and haven't shown up yet. They did put a couple barrels there with a do not enter sign that they had laying around the shop. Um, so that's my story. Uh, I used just the testers' uh, new wood, basically paint to paint the, the boards that were there. I masked it off and just dry brushed it on there. Um, got a couple little pieces of wood there. I, paint of rust so it looks like the steel plates they would use to go into the cars and everything but uh, that's really about it uh, I'll probably I've, of course for the pavement I used the same blacktop I used this light sea gray for the for the pavement I've added a lot of ground foam around it to make it look like it's pretty run down the fence were some old pieces of uh, gold metal fencing that I had left over from my baseball field yeah and it's sort of like run down a little bit. I'll probably put some weeds growing up it and make it pretty uh, uh, overgrown looking. You know, it's okay. I also went ahead and the siding, I went ahead and added a lot of vegetation to the siding. I wanted it to look different from the main line. So when I look down like this, you can see that there's a lot of uh, vegetation in there because I'm out in the summertime, so it would be green if they didn't spray it. Um, I think that's about it for now. I do want to take this opportunity to tell everyone I hope they had a, a good, safe Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I want to thank all the people who didn't get to enjoy the weekend, the first responders, the policemen, the firemen, all the people that have to work through the weekend, of course the military. Uh, thank everyone for their service, uh, keeping us all safe. Um, hopefully, you know, this will be over soon and you'll be able to enjoy some uh, well-deserved rest. Until then, everybody stay safe, and I will keep you updated on what's going on next. Bye.